How are you all doing guys? Brandon here from Van Clan. And we have been sent over from the UK to California to review this beast. This is from Four Wheels Pop-Up Campers and they do basically truck pop-up campers. And this is one of their top range one called the Hawk. And I'm gonna take you around it. And as you can tell, it's on a beast of a truck that we've been driving around for a week reviewing. Uh, this is the Dodge Ram, heavy duty. There might be cars flying around, so apologies are on the beach here, but this is the exterior. So basically it pops onto your truck. It locks in for uh, the locks in the interior, which we'll show you in a minute. And this is what you get on the outside. Obviously this pops up and you get six foot, six foot, I think it's just a bit over of a head space, which is pretty cool. If you come on in, there's a car. Um, so I'll take you through the exterior at the moment. Let's wait for that car. I saw that, a nice camera work there. Um, so basically here, so you have your fridge. Up here is your electricity in. You have a furnace as well. This is all the boring stuff, external storage. And then this is where you shouldn't really touch because it's all of the electrics and all of the water pressure and stuff. But kids, don't touch that. So let's pull that out, give it a little twist. Pow, and let's go to the good stuff, the interior. Now, these range from a total, like totally different price ranges. I think you can go from like $8,000 all the way up to $50,000 if you want. Um, but this one's the biggie. Uh, is there anything? Oh, the awning. Don't know if you can see that. Almost forgot that. That has saved us in rain and sun. Um, and it's got external lights as well. So when you do camp out, you can turn these on like so. And so that's one of them there. And you've got some down here, which is really cool. And the awning takes a couple of minutes to set up. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Um, but if you want to come inside, and I do like that these have been uh, dimmed as well. You've got blacked out windows, which is cool. So you can have your privacy. Um, this is the door. Uh, nothing special <laughs> about the door. So you get a nice little lock. And actually, lucky I did that because you've got two gas um, canisters in here, huge ones for your heating, your cooking, all of the good stuff. And then you've got foot mounts as well. I use these for just like clipping on stuff, my bags, etc. You can actually get on top to the solar if you wanted to, or if you've got uh, trouble going on up top, you can climb up there. Um, so let's take a look at the interior while I lock this. And you got some bad boy steps on actually. Actually, I forgot something. I don't want to bring in sand, right? So they've got a little tap out here for me to clean my feet to clean my little hobbit feet Ooh. and i've just realized i'm gonna be taking in really wet feet now so that that didn't really work did it but come on in uh it's pretty messy so we've been camping it for like a week now so there's gonna be tons of crap uh and it's gonna be pretty cushy so seb cameraman will head in and uh i'll basically talk you through some of the stuff um Hey, how you doing? This is literally like a little hobbit hole, isn't it? Welcome to Hobbiton. Okay, um, so this is where you'd fold down the stuff, the uh, pop-up camper. I won't do it, I'll do it slightly. So you can see this is like folding in. That's pretty simple to pop up and a child could literally pop this up. You don't need to be strong at all. So looking here, this is where the magic happens. Got two gas stove here and you've got a little sink pretty simple and this is like the cabinet the uh, all the storage space down here don't know if you can see that now you've got all the goodies so up here you've got your electric system you've got your two main 12 volt sockets and then four usbs sorry not 12 volt this is your 12 volt there and your mains as well sorry and then you've got loads of storage this is your furnace as well this is really really good for uh, keeping warm in the winter storage Got a little bear fan, I actually need that right now because it's so bloody hot. Oh my God, that's lovely. Put that back. <laughs> um, this is your electrics. You wanna see your, out, your output, uh, how much you've got left, um, your electricity wise. Tons of storage in here. Sorry, I'm in the way, cameraman. Loads of storage as well. Here you have your water pressure. It's pretty simple if I turn this on. It will pressure up so you can use your taps. Nothing special there, and more storage. And your furnace here. So if I turn that on, the furnace will turn on. I should not have turned it on. It's gonna get really hot now, but that's pretty cool as well. And then down here is where you can see how much you battery you have left and how much water you have left as well. So that's, that's nice. Then coming up is the desk here. 
So this can actually, if need be, so this is basically a chair and a desk here. So if you want to do your work, you can do that. But it can also fold down into a single bed as well. So not only are you getting the uh, queen up here, which we'll take a look at in a minute, you're getting this bad boy. And as you can see all around as well, you've got like these windows, which also have net in as well for all the mozzies. So you've got like dual layer there, which is pretty cool. And um, oh, and the fans. So when you are cooking, you can turn these on. You can make the wind come in or come out and you've got two as well so you can actually loop the air coming in from here and there's a beetle there he's stuck so you can have the air flowing in here and then out by the bed and the fridge if i come down here out of my hobbit hole you've got this big ass fridge here so all we eat is bananas and cheese <laughs> uh, so yeah and it's got a little freezer up here for ice cubes etc and a sweet potato we really need to stock up um, and then looking at the bed, if you want to show him the bed, Seb. All the food's in mine because I'm always hungry. Yeah, Seb's got all the food. Uh, sorry, I missed that. More storage down here. Don't know if you can see that. That's good for like, I think that's double storage. So you can probably get like shoes and stuff in there, possibly. Yeah, shoes, stuff like that. And then Seb will show you that that bed is actually like, comes out into a king. So if he pulls that out slightly, you get an idea of that. This pulls on out and you can see, I think under the, uh, under the sleeping bag is all the padding for that, but it's nice to know that you can get a king size bed and a single as well downstairs, which is pretty cool. So that is the interior. Really, really nice. I'm digging the airflow. The airflow is good in here, especially when you've got the netted windows uh, and stuff. So, and it's very easy to like pop on and off. Um, so I don't know if you can see there behind Seb, so you had this one, this is where you pull this half down, and then behind, you just unclip that. If Seb grabs the clip, pow, and you literally just yank that, uh, and that will come down halfway. Give it a little yank. There you go, and that will come oh. down halfway. Easy peasy, and he's doing that with one hand, so you can kind of tell how easy that is. Like a camping wizard. Um, I don't think there's anything else to mention. You've got your fire alarm, you've got your CO2. These are just like custom extras that you can add in. Some of them are actually for the Dodge Ram. So all of the, the lights, the exterior lights and stuff. So some of these are actually the lights on the pop-up camper as well. So you can turn these on, get your awning lights and stuff, which is really cool. And yeah, I think that's it. Uh, if we come outside. Oh yeah, see, cameraman knows more than me. Just the cameraman likes his electrics, so this is kind of it's like... the electrics, man. So there's all your fuses and stuff in case anything goes wrong. Um, the difference between the Hawk, which Brandon's using, and the Fleet, which I've been using, is this one has an inverter that you can use to get your uh, household electrics in up here. All oh, this is kind of controlled down here in this little fuse box area. Actually, that's a good point. If I get on the floor here, don't know if you'll be able to see. Actually, is you're not going to be able to see, but in there, that's where you get to your actual bolts that's bolted into the chassis. Um, so every kind of like few days, tighten them up so that your pop up tra truck camper is actually connected to your truck because you don't want this sliding off. It never happens, um, but you just need to keep an eye on it because it might get a little loose when you go off road, especially if you've got an off road rig like this. So yeah i think that's what's, it come on out what's good about this furnace brandon the furnace that it's super hot it's ridiculously hot uh, and it's near the bed as well so last night it got cold like middle of the night and i still have my gas on and i was like whammy turned that up heated me up and then i just went back to bed warm like a little bear in his little hobbit pod um so yeah this is the hawk from pool campers you want to come on out seb watch your feet that uh those stairs are pretty uh, sharp, super sharp, isn't it? So like, that's, that's what you get. Like these are becoming a lot more popular, especially in the States and Australia because people have trucks, yet they don't want to buy a whole new camper. So you could buy one of these, like I said, can range from 10 to 50 grand, whatever your price range, and you can just pop it on, slide it off. So initially you'll take it to four campers They'll take a few hours to actually install it, but then it would take you like half hour to take it on and off with the required tools that they give you.
So we got interrupted then. This is causing a lot of havoc on the streets of uh, California. People are coming up wanting to peek here. It is a very large beast. So carrying on, I forgot that I missed out, is this, an external shower. Probably one of my favorite features actually because it is a warm and cold shower as well. So you just pluck. So in here you have your, uh, your shower tools, your little squirter thing, shower head. Uh, plug it in here, you're ready to go. And some customers actually mount a shower curtain on here. So if you do need to, they've got a curtain, you usually got like a sucker pad as well, so you can shower wherever you want on the beach where we are uh, without anyone seeing your ghouly gangies. Uh, and then here is your water input as well. This holds 26 gallons. We've been road tripping for about a week now. We've only used 10, so this thing has very high water capacity. And I think that's it. You got anything else to mentioned just Seb? about the batteries really oh yeah the batteries so yes in the, all the four-wheel campers they've got a split charge relay going to the engine so if you want to charge up whilst driving you can keep your batteries topped up yep. Brandon's model here the Hawk has also got solar on the top of it as well so that's keeping these batteries charged whilst we're driving so you saw in there that the battery's full and we've been driving for a week and we haven't hooked up to electric electricity as of yet so this thing is almost sustaining its own energy output through the yeah. solar and obviously driving so it's as long it's, as you're in beast. sun the solar is going to be charging you know we've been using we've been charging up phones and charging up laptops we'll go over here you get a better view but yeah we've been charging up so we've got all our video equipment um but this is just something else this is it's changing the way people with trucks actually go off road in that Obviously, like there are disadvantages to having this compared to a camper. There isn't enough space. You don't have a toilet, um, but you know, this can fit a family, two adults, two kids. So, you know, and it, you don't have to spend all that money to buy a camper. You just pay like 15 grand and you can hook this up on, on your current truck that you have as well. So is it for long term road trips, do you think, or just for sort of, you know, we can get it? What's your thoughts? I don't think it personally, I don't think it's long term. I think max, you're probably looking at two weeks week comfortably um but you know like this is definitely like a weekend warriors or if you want to go on a two-week road trip anything beyond that i think things will start to get a little crammed and you'll start biting at the your family because it is a little compact but you know it is what it is it is a compact camper it's pop up you know it's it's using every inch of your truck's uh bed as wisely as it can so yeah guys there you have it a quick review and tour of the hawk pop-up truck camper by four wheel campers there will be an article written by seb the cameraman if you want to check it out um, so yeah thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one